Good morning. I am Dr. Umesh from Sadhurama Hospital, working as a vitreoretinal consultant here. And today we are focusing on the diabetic retinopathy and age-related macular degeneration. And these are the very common cause of blindness in the old age population. We are more uh, considering regarding diabetic retinopathy, why, uh, what is diabetic retinopathy and uh, what is the sign and symptoms in diabetic retinopathy. So here you can see diabetic affect almost all portion of eye including the anterior portion, posterior portion. So we are more concerned about the diabetic retinopathy. Diabetic retinopathy can damage the posterior segment of eye and that can lead to the blindness and that loss of vision and blurring of vision. So here you can see the this is the structure of eye where diabetic can affect this anterior segment and posterior segment like this. In anterior segment complication, diabetic patient can have multiple type of this uh, sty, corneal ulcer, other things which can irritate patient and that can create uh, uncomfort to the eye of patient. And in posterior segment, if anything diabetic related changes, uh, some bleeding, some swelling, that can hamper the vision of patient and day to daily activity of patient life. So what are the common symptoms in diabetic retinopathy and why it develop? The person who is more than 5 years of diabetic, there are 20 to 35 percent chances that they can develop diabetic retinopathy at different stage. In the initial stage, diabetic retinopathy may not come with any symptoms and signs. So people may not be aware of the things that they are having any serious problem in future. So any patient with diabetic, they need to check their uh, retina at least once in a year. And what are the common signs of diabetic retinopathy? Initially, patient may have some blurring of vision, some disturbance, some loss of vision, and some quality of vision, some color uh, deficiency may be there. Sometimes patient may feel ki something moving in front of their eye and something that uh, floating in front of eye like floater. So these are the common symptoms of diabetic retinopathy. They need to report their doctor uh, for thorough checkup of retina. Then what else the things patient uh, with diabetic can have? Uh, diabetic patient may develop sometimes glaucoma. Uh, where there is an increase in the pressure of eyeball, so we need to treat the things in a proper way. And what are the treatment available for diabetic retinopathy? First is a thorough eye checkup with a retina doctor, and depending upon the stage, diabetic retinopathy may present with the early stage, we call it as NPDR, and advanced stage PDR, proliferative diabetic retinopathy. In the early stage, most of the time with glycemic control, sugar control, and other parameter, things can be reversible to the some extent. But once it uh, uh, reaches to advanced stage, uh, it is very difficult to get back to the normal things and patient may need multiple treatment uh, in various form. And what are the treatment options for diabetic retinopathy? In the initial stage, simple diet, exercise, medication, uh, sugar control can uh, reverse the initial stage of diabetic retinopathy. But once it is uh, symptomatic, so there are treatment options like uh, uh, laser photocoagulation for retina then uh, intravital anti of injection to reduce the swelling and bleeding and that can help to some extent. In advanced stage, we have the retina treatment surgical part like vitrectomy operation for retina, removing the blood and uh, uh, settling the retina depending upon the stage of uh, advanced uh, retinal detachment. But advanced stage retinal detachment may have that not that good prognosis as compared to the initial stage of retinopathy. So our main aim with this video is creating awareness for diabetic patient to get their checkup done at the early stage uh, to prevent them to land into the advanced stage so we can have better life and better vision for future. Thank you.